Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to my review of Alien vs Predator Requiem Steelbook Blu-ray. Just like with the first one. And I think this one came, this one also came out on, in the Steelbook in 2014. Yep, but the disc I believe was 2007. 2008 actually, sorry, the film came out at the end of 2007 I think. Also, you can quite clearly see what's on the disc as opposed to the last film. Ah, oh, this this has got the, the title on the steelbook itself as well as on the bottom. I would love that on the on this one as well if it had just had it at the bottom. But I guess you can pretty much see it where it, where it is. And this is actually a really good poster uh, cover artwork. It's very good. Rated 15, and it's rated 18 in Ireland. It's going to be the last Alien Predator film rated 18 in Ireland, but the set, but not in the UK. That would be Resurrection. So, or at least one of the versions of Resurrection. And it's got a really cool poster of a Predator versus a Pred Ed, a Pred Alien, as it's called, on the back. With the title underneath, and the planet is kind of engulfed by them. And inside, you've got the pred ed on pred alien on the, the disc, and the and you can see the fight. I think it's on the hospital rooftop between the alien and the predator. Sorry, the pred ed, the pred alien, and the predator. <coughs> and on the back, we see them at, at it again. This one is definitely more alien versus predator, or rather alien uh, predator hybrid plus its alien minions versus lone predator. <coughs> so yeah and oh, annoying birds. And same on the back as it says pred alien. <coughs> Now this one fixes a mistake from the previous film. It goes major bloody and gory and a lot more, feels a lot more like the previous, the six previous films to Alien vs Predator. And honestly feels a lot better in that regards. However, oh hang on, there's a, there's a really sh squeaky bird outside. Shut up, squeaky bird! They didn't listen to me. One thing that lets this film down is the human characters. Once again, I mean, in the preview, in the other Alien and Predator films, even in the prequels, I'm not sure about Predators, but we'll see. Uh, same for the Predator, but definitely in these two, the human characters are either annoying, uninteresting, or you just don't give a shit until they actually get into danger. And then maybe one or two you start caring about. <clears throat> I mean, for this one, I actually started caring for the brothers and the mother and the little girl who made it out alive towards the end, but only because they're humans and uh, they were characters I thought were okay. And in the previous film, um, well, the Scots guy was likeable even if he wasn't that much interesting. <sighs> that stupid bird. Also, fun fact, Bill Paxton was going to be in this film, but due to scheduling conflicts, he wouldn't have been. Had he been, he would have been in both in the second Alien, the second Predator, and the second Alien vs. Predator film. And I think <clears throat> because of that, that, that is disappointing that he didn't get to be in this film, nor any other Alien vs. Predator film, because one, they stopped after this, and two, he sadly passed away in 2016, I believe. Let me check that. And he, couldn't, he wasn't in Covenant either, so he couldn't be in the second Alien prequel. No, it was 2017, it was last year. <clears throat> um, so, with the, and to be honest, most of the early, the first act of the film has a lot of these human characters. <clears throat> and most of them are, are, are uninteresting, dull, boring. The setup, I haven't really seen many horror movies, certainly not the 50, 18 rated ones. And the slasher movies and all that. Uh, although I might try and see that Halloween film later this year. But 
it felt <clears throat> very like that. It did feel that style, that tone at the start of the movie with just some typical teens and young people fucking about, just doing their everyday lives. Everything's normal, although not unannounced to them, st else, other stuff is happening. And you get your typical town, everything's fine. And then the monsters attack. And to be honest, most of the humans aren't interesting, apart from maybe the sheriff character. It, but he then becomes a bit of a dick later on, so... <clears throat> um, I won't say it's inconsistent, but... Not the best move. And once the... Once shit kicks off with the alien and, uh, aliens killing people and the predator killing people, that's where we start to get a bit more interested in the, in the characters and... But only because we want them to survive, if at all, in some key people's case. I mean, I I kind of wanted some, quite a few people to survive. Not because they were interesting or likeable, just because they're humans. And you know what? We could learn to like some of them, even some of the jackasses. Actually, there was this one guy who I really wanted to be killed off, and it did take him a while to kill him off. Kill him off. But they eventually did, so... I guess it was satisfying. Was it an alien who took him out? I think it was an alien. That was good. <clears throat> <coughs> One thing that pissed me off no end was that the US government, at the end of the film, decided to nuke the town with loads of humans inside. I know they want to contain the aliens, but I do not think the US government would put the safety of its citizens before, um, without, I wouldn't think the US government would nuke US citizens without at least trying to find a way to get them out first, if there was absolutely no hope, and I think this film, there had been implied that was, there was still a few ways out, then, uh, also they kind of gave up pretty quickly with the ground forces, just one group. There's one group of ground forces um, taken out before they decided to nuke the place. Um, wow. It's it's not like those marines from Aliens did try to do... Only did one shootout with the aliens and then couldn't get away after... Got, away, got straight away afterwards. No, they actually had to go through some... Had to, they actually had to do a lot more. And there's... I guess... And the same with the police force in... Uh, Predator 2, they didn't just give up after one or two fights with the a with the Predator, they actually stuck around to try and stop the bloody thing. So, yeah, the ground forces were... they just gave up so quickly. They didn't send any more in, and instead decided to nuke the town with pretty much everyone but the people going to die. To the helicopter, that didn't get killed on the way, is dying, basically. Yay! Like I said, I don't think the U.S. citizens, the U.S. would would nuke a town full of American citizens unless there was no other way of getting them out. And maybe the same could be said for um, citizens and civilians in other countries. Like, say, if they were in a, a hostile war territory, they would try and get civilians out before maybe nuking the place to avoid a contagious infection or enemies enemies in the battle from getting further or getting out, out of the town, but they would have tried to evacuate civilians if there was a way or two. <clears throat> and to see that they just nuked him with no pop chance of escape, they, 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 I think they wanted those civilians to be exe to be killed, and any who got lucky were like, okay, fine, you got lucky, well done. Uh, okay, we'll just, we'll just take you to hospital and all that, but we don't really care, to be honest. We're just following orders. The guy at the end said he's just following orders, and they're prepared to shoot the civilians who have weapons on them if they don't drop them. <clears throat> they're all pointing guns at each other. Who do they think they are? Do they think they're terrorists or something? They they knew the, the contagion. It was not human. It was it it wasn't a disease. It was a mon. It was aliens. Alien monsters. I don't know. 
And at the end of the film, there's some sort of cliffhanger that may have led to into a third one, if there was any. I don't know. I didn't quite get it. Apparently, a character from Predator 2 was supposed to be the guy who launched the missiles again. I don't think they got him to be able to come back. He was one of the CIA agents, the CIA agents, the one who didn't die. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this wasn't, that was a pretty weak ending. Uh, there was a lot of good uh, fight moments between the aliens and the predators, and it's always good to see them being violent, bloody murderers again. The human characters, as I said, they just, I oh, don't really care for the most part, and that ending pisses me off no end. The spider satisfied, despite a really satisfactory final showdown between the alien and the, sorry, the pred alien and the predator, the what happened afterwards really pisses me off. And I think the US government and army probably wouldn't like this version of the end either if they saw it. They were like, that's not what we would do. Or at least not, not, not unless we had no choice. So, yeah, I did give this one an 8 out of 10 on my IMDb thing. But thinking about it, I'm going to have to lower it down to a 7. But I still consider it better than the previous film. And also, the two prequel films, actually. I, I gave Covenant a... Uh, I think I gave that a 9 out of 10 in the original review, but after that I knocked it down to an 8. What did I... What is, is, it, is it still an 8 now? It might have to go down to a 7. Especially after that rewatch. Um... Let me see, Prometheus is a 7. For me. Here we go, Covenant, that's down to, that's an 8. I'm going to lower it down to a 7 as well. It's not that brilliant. So, yeah, I, so I prefer this one to... Uh, as an as an enjoyment, I prefer it to the first Alien vs Predator film, and I prefer it to Prometheus. And I might, I think I may prefer it, maybe Covenant slightly better than this, to be honest. Maybe that should go back to 8. Um, but it wasn't, uh, they, they weren't wonderful. I can definitely say that the first six, uh, the first four Alien films and the first two Predator films are a lot, are all best in this. And um, I'm not sure about Predators, but we'll find out. But yeah, um, it's all right. Um, so seven out of ten for the film, and I'd give it a really nice a nine out of ten for the two book. Again, I haven't really seen extras. Uh, actually, there were some trailers that they were good. And content, there isn't any. Let's just go with the film and the case again. So that's a 7 and a 9. 15? Is that 15? No, 16. 16 out of 20? This one is actually a bit more... This one is a bit better for... Uh, if you're more interested in these films, this one's a bit more... Better. This would be an eight out of ten. This one would. Did I say thirteen and twenty? That'd be more six and a half. Again, if you want to get the steel books of these films up there, if you can find them, they're up for grabs. If not, uh, just get the two film collection. Now, I know a lot of people hate this one a lot. Uh, to, more than this one, I don't know how, but yeah, maybe it's that it's that human character bullshit. But yeah, these are probably the least favourite two of the entire Alien Predator series. Uh, if we could say all 12, including the upcoming one. All 11 uh, of them. Yeah, we've got the square thing about this again. If we say out of all 11, these are probably the least favourite two. I think Resurrection would then come next. Um, not sure why. I, I liked Resurrection. I thought it was really good. So, yeah, that's it for these ones, and my full, I'll, I'll quickly do a ranking of the, <clears throat> my, of the Alien and Predator films, minus Predators, uh, quickly. Okay, my quick, uh, June 2018 Alien Predator, Alien vs Predator 
film ranking minus the minus Predators is well let's put Predators a as a TBA along with the Predator when that comes out and when I see Predators I will put that on the list uh, so both of them when I see them they'll go on the list so out of the other ten number ten is Alien vs Predator number nine is Prometheus Numbers 8 and 7, it's kind of a joint between Alien versus Pre Aliens vs Predator Requiem and Covenant, Alien Covenant. I would say maybe this one is, should be number 8 and Covenant should be number 7 for now. So, we'll see. But fans of the original four Alien films and the original two Predator films rejoice. They're the top six for now. Number six, oh, you're going to hate me for it. It is Alien, the first, the very first one. I just couldn't, I couldn't get into it as much as the other ones the first time around. I did like it a bit more than the second time, but couldn't quite get into it as much as I could say Aliens, t Aliens or Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection. Speaking of which, number five is Alien Resurrection. I actually got into that. That was a very good film. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, there was a couple of issues, but I, overall, I still pretty much enjoyed myself. Number four, this one I think you'll, again, you may not be happy about it being here, but you'll probably be, be, be glad it's over Predator, not, sorry, it's over Alien Resurrection. It is Predator, the original, the 1987 one with Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And yeah, this one was a really good one, and I liked how it was very much a... Commando, Commando Jungle action movie to start off with, and then along with this mystery about who's skinning humans, then it turns out that it's an alien from another world called the Predator. Well, actually, its real name isn't really given in the film. I think it must be in the third one, like with the alien ones in the second film. Okay, I've got two names, a long time Predator. Ya, uh, ya, tad, uh, ya Taja? That's Y A U T J A or Hish Q ten, which is H I S S H I S H line Q U line T E N. Uh, we'll just call them the Predators for now. Okay, so that's number four. Number three is Alien Three, which I actually really like. I thought that was really good and the characters, maybe not quite as interesting as Aliens or Alien 1, but they were definitely very interesting. Resurrection also tried to do this, but I don't think it succeeded as well. Uh, same with the, uh, I think, as for the Predator ones, uh, I think the first one had more interesting characters, but the second one had more likeable ones. Or is it the other way around? Maybe one had more interesting, two had more likeable. Either way, one and both first two Alien films have very good characters, and I look forward to seeing what three and four have to offer. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not as good. Yeah, uh, the same could be said for the pre Alien prequels and for these two. To be honest, especially these two. I mean, there were some good ones in the prequel films, but uh, I think the originals and the uh, other t and the first two Predator films all succeed in being better, in better leads and supporting characters. Number two is Predator 2. I loved this film when I watched it. I loved Predator 2. I don't know what it was, but it just really well. I know a lot of people love the first one and would still claim it to be the best of at least of the Predator films so far. Don't think that's going to change after the fourth one, but we'll see. But with... <coughs> I don't know what it was. I, I like. I really liked Predator One, but I loved Predator Two. I don't know what it was. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it was now in a suburb in suburban Los Angeles. Obviously, Danny Glover couldn't go very far as he was doing Lethal Weapons One and Two and Three, and later Four. It was between Two and Three, so maybe they really. If they wanted Danny Glover, then they should film in Los Angeles so he could get back to doing Lethal Weapon just afterwards. And. At least that's like how I'd like to think of it. Also, he he appears to be younger in this film, despite being in the Lethal Weapon ones being f over fifty, maybe closer to sixty by the last one. Um, 
but yeah, he's a great lead. Um, he, maybe even more so than Schwarzenegger. But although Sigourney Weaver is out of all of the characters in these uh, eleven, I'm going to be twelve films. Sigourney Weaver, Zen and Ripley is the best character besides the actual aliens and predators themselves. Uh, so all the human ones, Ripley is the best character. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it was, but Predator 2 was just amazing. It was really good and really entertaining and wow. And I had claims that it was the most violent and bloody of the films. And to be honest... It's a contender, definitely, along with the first one, and maybe not as much. Okay, maybe not as much as the first one, and the third and fourth Aliens versus... Sorry, the third and fourth Aliens and Requiem here. Um, those are definitely the top five most uh, violent films, I would say, those five. <laughs> with Alien versus Predator 1 and the first Alien film being the least violent uh, two. Although I did hear, hear that Covenant was quite violent. So that could be number six. Prometheus wasn't that much either. Aliens was kind of in between. I don't know about Predators. Um, have I missed any? I don't think so. Anyway, I loved Predator 2. I thought it was amazing. But there was one more film that I thought was just that little bit better. At least story and film wise. As Predator 2 is the one I had the most fun with. And enjoyed the most. But num my number one was probably the best story, the best, had the best characters, and had uh, raised the stakes even higher. And that is Aliens, the second Alien film, a massive improvement on the first one, as much as I like the first one, uh, at least not hate it, um, or at least not dislike it as much as the other, as the lower four on the list. Um, okay, I liked the first Alien film, as I said, but I didn't think it was spectacular, but the second one, was amazing. It was fantastic. Best characters, best performances, best writing, best story, and probably the best direction. Thank you, James Cameron, for pretty much most for the writing and directing, to be honest. I mean, I'll give Ridley Scott's props for what he did with his films, and David Fincher, yeah, he did a good job. Um, as, uh, who was the one who did number four? John Luke, uh, name below. And John McTarran for the first Predator film, uh, the guy who did the second one, can't remember his name. And the ones on these ones did okay, I suppose. That was Paul W.S. Anderson and the brothers Strews. Um, I'm sure whoever does the pre whoever does Predators will do a good job. And Shane Black's doing the Predator. Hopefully, he will do a good job. Although, it, from the trailer, it is looking a bit more like just stereotypical action thriller. Uh, action sci-fi adventure, which does look disappointing, and the characters, according to some sources, don't quite sa have the same uh, Shane Black type of dialogue that he usually writes for his films. I've only seen one film that he's directed, and that's Iron Man 3. Um, although I have... Although he did help contribute to the, Pred the first Predator film, as well as also star in it as a role, as one of the roles, one of the characters. And he wrote the first Lethal Weapon and did an outline for the second one. So, he's def I've definitely seen a few of his films. Um, in one for directing and, uh, I guess, I think he kind of co-wrote, co uh, maybe wrote a little bit of Iron Man 3. And Predator, cert but certainly the Lethal Weapon films, he was, uh, the first one was very good written by him. So, I, from what I've seen from him so far, in both writing and directing departments and also the acting department, he is a great choice for Predator, especially as he helped a little bit on the first one. So, I am I have faith in him delivering a, a good, solid movie, even if it's not up there with the first two. But, Hopefully he can deliver more than just a stereotypical action sci-fi film, as the trailer um, seems to be showing. Hopefully it will be at least rated R, and will have at least the same feel as the other ones. So unlike Alien vs Predator, the first one, uh, the first Alien vs Predator, it will at least have the same feel as the other films, even if it's not too much, even if it doesn't go too far. Although, I don't mind it going too far. In fact, if you can, if it can be an 18 in the UK, that would be brilliant. 
besides, I need to see an 18 at the cinema. So, that that's another good thing. What? An 18 that isn't Fifty Shades of Grey? One, two, or three? And that's actually what one I'm interested in? I'm told. So, yeah, that's it for my reviews of the Alien vs. Predator and Alien vs. Predator Requiem Steelbooks, as well as my June 2018 Alien and Predator films a ranking, minus Predators, because that's a TVA. And also, I'll have to comment on the AVP Extended Edition, alongside the Alien Director's Cut and the Alien 3 and Alien Resurrections Extended Editions. I have seen Alien 2's one, though. Saw that before the Director's Cut, so... You know, I might, I'll probably mention it in my Alien 6 film box set review, which I will be doing after I see the other Extended Editions. And the Director's Cut with the first one. And so yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for watching these reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. So, loved the Predator. Sorry, not the Predator. That's coming. That's the next one. That I loved Predators. Not Predator. No, I haven't seen that one yet. Ugh. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Nicholas Payne YouTube channel.